This is Cassell from Creation Cassell. In this video, we'll look at how to create a painted background using a script in PaintShop Pro and how to use this painted background creatively with a photo. First, I open the photo I have. It's a pretty large image, which is about 3000 pixels in height. And in the script toolbar, I will find my painted background script. I simply run the script. And now it will be working on a duplicate of my image. So my original image will stay intact. And I can choose one of the five type of paintwork I want to use. So let's say I want to use a dry brush. Select three and I let the script work. It will take a while. As you can see, it will pick up the colors from the background image and paint it on a separate layer. You can have a look also in the material palette and see all the colors that are being picked. So depending on the size of your starting image, it can take a couple of minutes. So I'll be back in a bit. Now we are done with that painted layer. As you can see, you might not recognize too much of the image if you didn't know what the photo was before. So now you can use this as is if you want. But let's say that you want to showcase that little girl's face. What you can do also is use the eraser tool at this point, use a round shape and the size can be okay. And you simply delete much of the part that you want to focus on. You can even go a little bit wider and you'll see why. So let's erase. But we have kind of a sharp edge where we erased. So now it is time to take one of the background brushes that we use. And we use a dry brush and here is one. So we can use the same brush tip for the eraser tool as we did in the script or as we can do with the paintbrush. But now what we're going to do is unerase. So using the right button, you go around the edges where the, the edges were rough or were too sharp and we can rough them up a bit. To make sure you don't have all the same impressions or unerase, you will use the brush variance palette with F11. And here you can have the size that will be slightly off the zero. Rotation, you want it pretty high because you want your eraser brush to be rotated all the way. And for the position jitter, you can have a small number under 100 so that whenever you click somewhere, it's not going to unerase too far away from that point. And you can have the impression per click one, two, or three. That's up to you. And you can then unerase everywhere you want. It can give that kind of a dreamy effect all around. If you find that you go too far and oh, you are covering an area, simply use the left button and you're going to be erasing the same way as you were unerasing. And now you have a really fun effect on a photo using this script. Now, if you wanted to create only a full size background for your scrapbook project, you might want to simply resize this image to 
a full size, whether it's a, a thousand by a thousand or 3600 by 3600. In this case, you want to unlock the aspect ratio with because that way you can have a square paper even though your starting image was not square. Of course, you see the image is distorted, but if you're not planning on using this photo as is to focus on the actual subject, maybe you just want to have a paper using the right colors. In this case, you run the script the same way, and again, I can use the same paintwork, or I can use something different. And I will let it run. Once your painted layer has been done, you can notice that if you were to hide the bottom layer, some of the edges might be a little empty. In that case, what you can do is resize your image to 4000 pixel and then using your selection tool you can create a custom selection starting at 100 pixels and ending at 3700 pixels which will give you in the end a 3600 pixel size and from there you can crop to selection and now you have an image where it's pretty much covered. You might have some small areas without any coverage but then if you put your picture back visible in the background then that will fill all the gaps. Of course in this case you won't want to get the image to show through but you can use this paper as a background paper. So this is how you can use the painted background script to create your own painted papers. Now have fun with this script and PaintShop Pro. Enjoy!